Well, big win for Dove and Dangerous, keeping their rookie year looking promising here at Pow Pro Wrestling. But, of course, after the match, we heard those comments from Tom Allman, Nick Radford, the Academy, finally accepting Dove and Dangerous' challenge. And in a few weeks, mister, we're going to have ourselves a schoolyard scuffle between these two teams. Both teams had better hit the books as they get ready for that matchup. I see what you did there. You ought to be ashamed, Brian Zane. One more quip like that and we'll take you off the hosting duties as well. well folks, as we mentioned, and this week's main event is going to be a gauntlet match as the Tower of Power, unbeaten in POW Pro Wrestling, has a shot at taking on Caden Cassidy, provided she defeat King Naja and Dr. Cleaver. Now, mister, we heard some pre-match comments from the Empire, and we're going to go to that right now before our big main event. Don't even worry about No, no, no. Calm down. Easy. He's not even here, so we're not have to worry about that. You got lucky. By some stretch of a miracle, Brian Zane messed with the weather, and this thing got delayed. Ain't no more delays. You're not making it through me. And if by some stroke of midget, midget luck, you get through me to Doc, you're in for a world of pain. And again, somehow by some god awful miracle, you make it to the kingpin, there's no way, no way you're surviving. Let's not even put that into the ether, Mark. There's still a way that this Woman can get to me. Do you both understand? We're gonna prove a point. You don't mess with us and think that you can easily walk away. So if I have to make an example out of Amira, then I'm gonna make an example that everybody in that locker room can understand. Amira, I know you. As much as it pains me to say this, when I look at you, I see a little bit of a young me. But tonight I only have one question. When Amira faces the Empire, which will break first? Your body or your spirit? Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is a gauntlet match and is scheduled for three 10 minute falls. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Do your math, 30 minutes. And this match is sponsored by Aaron Stanberry, real estate agent. Your referee, Brad Lee. Introducing first. Already in the ring, coming to you live in vivid snow white color from, from Pasadena, California, weighing 200 and 24 pounds of your mom's best dreams and your dad's worst nightmares. It's me, King Naja. And my opponent, Making her way to the ring. Fresh out of the bargain bin at the Goodwill. Standing five feet and not tall enough. Weighing in at 100 and sit your muscly ass down. She is allegedly the Tower of Power. She goes by the name Amira. Gentlemen, this is what we're going to call a gauntlet match. Gauntlet. Gauntlet match. There's been a whole lot of unnecessary triggeration going on today. I have a solution. Just hear me out. Hold on, sis. No, for real. Come here. Can you hear me out? Now, we've all established that I look far, far too good to be getting sweaty in this ring today. And, and, 
and you, wait, no, and you as well. You look, you look hella tan for to be the Black History Month. But right. I have an idea though, I have an idea, right? I have an idea, let's just call a square. You go ahead and take that, take that back to the Goodwill, go buy yourself something nice, and we can call it even. Oh! Oh! I think I said no. Slap the taste out of his mouth. Is that a Hunsky? Oh, gosh. Oh! Making the ring announcer look like a fool. And you wanted an announcer. Well, there you go. Oh, there he I'm is. I'm glad I'm not in the ring. In all his glory. He can announce and wrestle. You can barely do one. Oh, got fired. Come on, Naja. Oh, oh, well. Just uh, Groundhog's Day. Pretty much. And I'm going to laugh all the way through. <laughs> Karma is a strange little, little mistress. It certainly is. She's got to get through two other two wrestlers that she wants to get her hands on Kane Cassidy. Wait a minute, he's taking there off you his There you go. Give her a whooping like she deserves. Give her a whooping like she deserves. I heard she's into this, so it's fine. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Hey, wait, wait a minute. Hey, wait, hey. wait, it's not that type of match. What's he taking out a gun? Not yet. Family friend. Oh. Talcum powder? Oh, he got. It. Oh, oh, baby powder. Oh, he's got to powder up the hand. Oh yeah. Oh, he's just, he was he was just, he's transparent about that. Nope. And well, it's gonna cost him big time. Oh man. He's. I mean, every every turn here has been a dead end. Uh, yes, very much so. Come on, now. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, man. Cooper Cross is right in the middle of the ring. Right in the middle of it. He's done. Grab the microphone, kid. Call your own loss. He's there done. It it's right over. In Call your own loss. Well, there's one down, two to go. Look Damn. at the crowd. The crowd is behind her 100%. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Get to her level. Get to her level. Really? Well, Look, her, no. level, her level was a one, two, three count yep. there. The winner of that ball somehow was a mirror. We ain't gonna get you. We ain't gonna get you. You're so rude. Introducing her next opponent. Oh boy, the biggest oh, number. Oh, this is a little different. This is a lot oh, different. Oh yeah, it's a lot different. He's definitely the oh. biggest member. 262 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal. This is where her. My tag partner, Doctor Cleaver. This is where her luck runs out. Put her in the dirt, Doc. Oh my god, autopsy right there. That's it. One, two, no. no. Oh my gosh. Oh, fucking up. You know, what Doc doesn't realize is that Amir's already taking care of nausea quickly. Yeah. She's got energy to spare. She pulled the tights, Bulldog. Don't lie to the people. Oh, come on now. What tights? Well, he does have pants. Yes. But he's got a belt on. Yeah, that's true. But unlike Naja, it didn't take the belt off. Right? Doesn't need it. I mean, oh, and Mira Mira can hit. Let me tell you, but let, there you go. There's, so, a, there's a flip side so right can, there. Yeah. So can Cleaver. Yep. But on the end. Steven got a few of those, I'll tell you what. She's not going to have any teeth. Yeah, she can be Doc's twin. There you go. Maybe that's what he's got. He's got teeth in me. Tooth in me. Are you all right there? Hey. Got worked over, pal. Yeah. <laughs> she got me, JB. She, she got did. Me. Oh, I just flew in. Yeah. Oh, lifts her off, and here we go. Oh no. Oh, hey. <laughs> nothing. Like nothing. Smart that feel, punk. Talk to her, Najin. Picks her up by the oh, hair. Oh, big knee left. Shades of Jake Roberts right there. Also one of my personal heroes, Mr. Wrestling number two. Oh yeah. Oh he's look at oh. That. Oh. oh he just couldn't he couldn't handle it. He was sitting here stewing the whole time. Yep. But he did poke her in the eyes, so hardly. Oh look at that. Toying with her.
Mir off the ropes, look out, oh! Wait oh, no, 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 oh, yeah, no. Caught her. <laughs> I, just, I mean, you ever, I mean, taken like sandbags yep. and had to move them over and over again to stop a flood? Yes. Uh, there we go. She doesn't look like a tower right now, huh? Maybe like yeah. a Jenga tower. Boot right across the throat there. Don't pull from the bottom. Don't pull from the bottom. Oh. Wait a minute, Naja. Yeah, now he's starting to interject himself again and again. Like, I don't think Dr. Cleaver needs any help at this point. Well, she keeps taking swipes at him. Good Well, Lord. why is Naja even at ringside? He lost he, the he ball. He did, he did, but he got all butt hurt. Hey, he's the ring announcer. He's allowed to be at ringside. That's true. Oh, wait a minute. Signs of life. Moving to a heartbeat. Oh, boy, look out. There's no way. Off the ropes, oh, look out. There's no, I've been in the ring with Dr. Cleaver so many times, there's no way. Come on, Doc. Oh, this could be bad for Cleaver. It could be very bad. I mean, kudos to, um, kudos to Mur. I, I, don't get me wrong. Oh, oh my geez. God, right in the nether that, region. That'll do it. Okay, I said I might be wrong here. That was, no way. That was low. Well, yes, referee, let yeah, it go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, yeah. Well, probably let it go just because Naja keeps getting involved. Well, no, Here he's I, up again. He's gonna get him disqualified. You're not wrong. Yeah, you can't. What it, just, just. Oh, and no, no, look out, Naja! Right in the small of the back. Oh my oh gosh! My oh my gosh! No way! No way! No way! Two. Yes, he got him. Wow. Folks, you just witnessed something here today. Well, that was right to the small of the bag, the kidneys. Well, if Doc's number two, who's number three? She cheated again. She got through me by luck. She cheated and got through Doc. You ain't gonna get through the kingpin. Oh boy, Ladies the and kingpin. Gentlemen, Katie Cassidy. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> now, yeah. Mary's already exhausted from this. Um, she can take on the two. Next around, now say the same thing. They chasing the fame. They all want the name. The thing that was running through these players. He'll get her. 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 He'll get Are you kidding me? Oh, drop those. Okay, folks. I got a clean house on the staff around here, man. How much? 315 much? pounds of all the money is flat. The kingpin. Katie Cassidy. Will the Tower of Power's luck run out here? They finally reinstated Kaden Cassidy. Wait, unjustly you, suspended by the corrupt Brian Zane. Did you hear the weight? 315 pounds? Hey, notice you didn't you know, reinstate my brother and I or anything. You know, you're not going to do that, are you? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Here you go, bro. You two lost fair and square, right? Oh, yeah, fair and square. I don't know how you've done it. I don't know what God you paid to. What Wheaties you deserve to eat last night, but you did it. Wheaties? You actually went through my lieutenants. So for that, I will give you credit. You may clap. You may clap. However, if you really want this, if you really want this, I am on one condition, and every single person here knows exactly what that is. If I am going to wrestle this mutt, then I want my title shot. I want my shot at Funny Bone. It is time. Funny Bone, the popular. So how about this, Amira? If I beat you. I get Funny Bone, but if you beat me, it's Amira versus Funny Bone for the title. Hey. I make you smuts happy. Hey, 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 hey. 
since I am in charge around here, I will grant that the winner of this match gets a Bell Pro Wrestling Championship match. And you know what, Kaden? Happy Black History Month, because this match is now no disqualification. Oh! Hey, it's only fair. Black History Month. Wait hold a on, second on, here. Hold on. Amira, do you accept? Well, she ain't gonna say it. Of course I accept. Exactly. Well, there we go. More guts than brains on this one. Yeah, that might. Well, I don't oh, know. Wait a second. What? We got Cleaver Naja here at Did Ray you just Tycoon. see the last two matches? Sorry. Bulldog, I'm sorry. Wait a second here now. Hey, no DQ. Yeah, that's right. He's made it no DQ. Yeah, so is a no DQ match. Amazing how that worked out, huh? <laughs> you got yourself a golden ticket tonight, don't you? Hey, hey. I'm, I'm the got a golden ticket. I'm the boss around these parts now. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, uh, Jonas, how do you sleep at night? Uh, they, they, this really need to happen right here? Uh, like a baby surrounded by hot women and piles of money, Bulldog. <laughs> yeah, how's that bonnet and bib doing for you? <laughs> Just saying. Hey, so, sometimes I like a little role play, all right? Oh, wait a second, now Cleaver's bringing in a table. No disqualification. I mean. Well, you know, the last time a table was used, yeah. Caden lost an arm wrestling match that's against Amira. That's true, that's very true. Oh, jeez. Picks her up, oh like man, nothing. that table. Look out, oh. 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 <laughs> My, she's dead. She might be dead. Uh, count to 20, we ref. Might, we might need an ambulance. That poor girl. Oh, this is an insult to injury right here. Unbelievable. Well, the luck ran out for the Tower of Power. Well, yeah, the only reason not. why, so it took three of them to do it. The pocket-sized powerhouse. You saw it. Your winner of this match and your new number one contender, the Punny Bone in the Power Pro Wrestling Championship, represented to you by KP. Yesterday! Well, it only took three people. Oh, hell yeah! That's right, scrape her off the mat, get her out of here. Unbelievable. Yeah, right? Unbelievable. Tell them, Bulldog, tell them. You see what has just happened here? It took three of them to beat up a woman. Are they that happy about it? You gotta call the dogs on them. It's kinda all you. Look at me. My hands are clean. Is that a little juicer right there? Go Anybody else in the back want to come try to dislocate my shoulder? Huh? They got your brother working security? What's going on? Yo, yeah, I mean, he's got to work, he's gotta work to get in. Yeah. What? It's intermission time. Hey, you grease some palms around here, maybe, you, maybe get some things done. While these less than qualified, lower than medium wage workers Make a futile attempt to clean this ring to something respectable. Well, the powder keg at World Pie is furious at what we just saw in the main event, and I, for one, agree with them, mister. I cannot believe what Jonas Albert Robinson did, turning the tide like that and making it a no DQ match. Speaking of powder cake, speaking of explosions, did you see how that table exploded when Kate Don Cassidy drove little Amir right into that hole? It crumbled practically into dust along with Amir. All it took was Caden Cassidy pinned Amira with a foot on the chest. He was trying to save Amira all these months by not trying to meet her in the ring. But alas, you and Amira sealed her fate, and now where is she? Nowhere! And Caden Cassidy is the new number one contender for that Power Pro Wrestling Championship, man. You know, from what I've witnessed, Amira is ten times the tough of Caden Cassidy. Caden Cassidy did all that tap dancing around and trying to avoid a one-on-one -on -one match with Amira. If he were so confident in his abilities, he wouldn't have tried to throw things in like an arm wrestling match, or hiding behind a suspension, or hiding behind his goons in the Empire. And of course, the plan came to perfection, destroying Amira, throwing her through that table, and like you mentioned, Mr. Yes, Caden Cassidy is one win away from becoming the PAL Pro Wrestling Champion by virtue of winning this gauntlet match. What a brave endeavor by the Kingpin. Brave, brilliant, bravado, all the Bs apply, but Caden will get an A+. 
But he's graded as the next Pal Pro Wrestling Champion, huh? Well, speaking of grades, Charlie Avell, the most beautiful man in Pal Pro Wrestling, hopes to get high marks in next week's rematch with his former mentor, the Devil Drexel. Then in our main event, a match with huge implications regarding the Pal Tag Team Championships as the Hammer Brothers take on the Flamin' Aces. It's gonna be a scintillating week of action on Pal Pro Wrestling, IWTV, and YouTube. Don't you dare miss it. For Mr. Ooh La La, I'm Brian Zane, and we'll see you next time.